pretty soon we're gonna have an empty arena match. How? <laughs> Red and I ended up having a good run in Memphis, but eventually we wanted to check out some of the other indie hotspots around the country. And after a year or so of bouncing around, we made a name for ourselves in LA, where the indie scene was really taking off. That's it. I'm leaving without you. You can't do that. We're a package deal, remember? Besides, look who's headed our way. Mm, great. I was wondering if she'd show up. Relax. I'm not here to start anything, so don't get your collective skivvies in a bunch. This is the one day to put any past differences aside and honor your achievements, so congratulations. You've earned everything that's coming to you tonight. What was that? Maybe she has a conscience after all. I seriously doubt that. Forget her. Let's get back to your story. I think L.A. was where I first saw you two wrestle in person. Remember? We ended up having that series of matches against each other. How could I forget? It led to one of the most embarrassing nights of my career. We would battled each other in just about every type of match, except for one that also happened to be on the list. Wrestle in a crybaby match. And since you had the first and only crybaby match with Razor Ramon back in the day, this was the perfect time to cross it off. Tickets go on sale for next month's event this Wednesday. This show sold out in five minutes, so good luck getting one.
The merchandise stand will be open until 30 minutes after the show, so enjoy the event and come and check out all the latest stuff on your way out. Or don't. Less work for me. Construction grain has fallen on the 405. Looks like it's all surface streets for your drive home tonight. Enjoy. treat our celebrity guests and attendants with respect. They want to enjoy the show just like you. seen that before. Sorry I put your friend in a diaper. There was no way I was going to let that happen to me again. Maybe it'll teach him to stop putting ridiculous things on our list, but probably not. Hey, this isn't public knowledge yet, so keep it on the DL. The WWE is going to be holding an all-women's tournament later this year. That's amazing. Yeah, they're calling it the Mae Young Classic. Triple H asked me to keep an eye out for talent, so I'll be watching your match tonight against Candice LeRae. Don't hold back. I never do. Oh, oh, this stuff's all in my eyes. I can't see. I think I'm going blind. <laughs> I don't know why he's so cranky. I fed him and changed his diaper. <laughs> Any chance you can babysit during my match?
on the collapsed crane situation, it still sucks. Both sides of the 405 remain closed. If you don't live nearby in the valley, you might as well sleep in your car, if it hasn't been broken into. to do birthday announcements, and the answer is no. This isn't a baseball game, people.
Look, you two are great, so I wish I could recommend you both for the Mae Young Classic, but Hunter said they're only looking to fill one spot right now. You're really milking this decision. <laughs> Get it? Because the crybaby match earlier? I've been hanging out with Trey too much. Please, continue. I'm gonna have to recommend Candace. She's been doing this for over 15 years. Red, you've got a ton of potential, but you don't have anywhere near that kind of experience. Yeah, totally. I get it. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm sure we'll see each other again in the future. Like he said, I've been doing this a really long time, and you're one of the best I've ever seen. And you're only gonna get better. I appreciate that. Uh, I gotta go call my husband and tell him the good news. No guarantees but I'll definitely keep you in mind if WWE ends up doing this tournament again. Give me your contact info before you leave tonight, okay? I will. Thanks. Hey, I overheard what Xbox said. This is just a bump in the road, and tonight wasn't a total loss. At least I get to cross off wrestle in a crybaby match. Give me that. Ugh, it smells like butt sweat. I told you not to keep the list in your tights. Cost of doing business. Win May Young Classic Tournament. See if you can air that out. As our indie journey continued over the next couple of years, we got to have matches in a lot of cool places. But the one that stood out most was when we got to do a special show back in our hometown. You've got to be kidding me. And we thought her head couldn't get any bigger. You know what? I'm not going to let a stupid sign ruin this for us. Let's go. This was our chance to show our friends and family just how far we had come. Well, at least our friends. So what happens if your parents show up tonight? First of all, as far as I'm concerned, they're not even really my parents anymore. But if they did show up, then security can deal with it. I'm not gonna let anyone pick and choose when they wanna have my back, especially now that I'm having a little bit of success. But you haven't talked to them since Calgary, which was like four years ago. Maybe it's time you give them another chance. Another chance to tell me I'm wasting my life and that I'm never going to make it? Sorry, I don't need that. Besides, I paid them back their money, so the way I see it, we have nothing to discuss. Hey, hey. I'm not shelling out an extra 20 bucks so you two can have a therapy session. I handed her the wrench, if that counts. Also, were you listening to our entire conversation? Hey, I get it. We've all got drama in our lives. I mean, look at me. Last year, I put on a mask and attacked my former protege, Buzz, costing him a shot at WWE. Then he wouldn't return my phone calls or texts for like a year. No one wanted to work with me, and BCW folded. But then I stuck up for Buzz to AJ Styles. And the next thing you know, I'm in Buzz's corner at WrestleMania, and now I'm in the process of rebuilding BCW. That's a lot of very specific information. Yeah. What's your point? My point is, I turn chicken crap into chicken salad. And that's what I can do for you two if you sign exclusive deals with me and become cornerstones of the new BCW. We actually have been looking for some more stability. And putting aside all that attacking your protege stuff, you seem like a real stand-up guy, so we're in. Great! I promise you won't regret this. Sorry I'm late. Two old-timers got in a fight over who called bingo first, and I had to step in. But Marco said if I keep settling disputes without anyone breaking a hip, then he's going to let me call the numbers next Tuesday morning. That's great. How's the house looking tonight? I think we might get ten people, which includes two comps I left for some nice ladies from bingo, but still not bad. By the way, pretty sweet the school let us use your office as a locker room. What's wrong? Let's see. 
You're a bingo hall security guard, I'm a part-time janitor at our old high school, and we're about to wrestle in front of ten people. Actually, the bingo ladies just cancelled, so it's eight now. Apparently there's a ventriloquist at their senior complex tonight. That does sound better than this. We were on the path to success. We were gonna make it to WWE and achieve all these goals and maybe even end up in the Hall of Fame someday. But then we signed with Baron Blade and he ruined everything. Now all we have is a meaningless piece of paper that's just a constant reminder of how crappy our lives are. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm up for a promotion and I'm going to see a ventriloquist. You're bailing on the show? Yeah, if the entire crowd could have carpooled together, it's probably not worth it. Anyway, you just need to give up on all those dreams and then you'll feel a lot better about how things turned out. It worked for me. Man, how do they do that? I know we failed to crack double digits in attendance tonight, but BCW's this close to turning it all around. Next show, they'll be lining up out the door, or in our case, the large hole in the gym wall that's now used as a door. I know you've seen Red and Josie Jane wrestle a hundred times, but they're the only women I can book because, well, I tricked them into signing lifetime exclusive contracts. Piece of advice, read the fine print, people. I regret to inform you that Trey will not be appearing tonight. If you would like a refund, well, <laughs> look around. You're at the wrong show for that. job and clean it up. For those of you who don't know, Red Moonlights as a janitor and Daylights as a failed wrestler. BCW will not be held liable for any injuries occurring at tonight's event, including those suffered from falling roof shrapnel, toxic mold inhalation, or hobo attack. Who 
it's WWE with their fancy network, their big crowds, and their non-condemned arenas, when you can have all of this, right, Red? Next month's show is going to feature the return of BCW original Cole Quinn. He had a jet ski accident and looks completely different now, but I swear it's really him, and I'm not just trying to pull one over on you. Six. Seven. Remember when BCW ran a show at the venue that was the home of Monday Night Raw? Triple H was shutting down our shows and we were invading NXT? <laughs> Those were the days. N not that this isn't great too. Nothing turned out like you thought it would, and you're miserable, but at least act like you want to be here. One, two, three. My point is, I turn chicken crap into chicken salad. And that's what I can do for you two if you sign exclusive deals with me and become cornerstones of the new BCW. <laughs> um, no thanks. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Your loss. <laughs> because FYI, I am this close to getting Cole Quinn on board. <laughs> Big things are happening. Hey, speak of the handsome devil. Let's go talk numbers, shall we? I th 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 slow your roll, Greeny. <laughs> this guy. I feel like we really dodged a bullet there. More like a cannonball. That guy's a total nightmare. And here comes another one. What is she doing here? Holy crap, is that hothead Red and Trey? You two picking up some extra work to make your trailer payments? Or is this some kind of prison work release program? It's just Red now. And we're wrestling tonight. And also, we don't live in trailers. We stay in hotel rooms that have microwaves, which seemed a lot more impressive before I said it. Wait, you actually became pro wrestlers? <laughs> and I get to see your uncoordinated bodies flop around this ring tonight? <laughs> She's got good lungs. Of course I do. I'm an elite MMA competitor. 
If you haven't heard, the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun, is undefeated. More like American Zero. What's that? Nothing. You realize Kurt Angle's already known as the American hero, right? You probably should ask him for permission to use his nickname like Ronda Rousey did with Rowdy Roddy Piper. Kurt Ankle? Never heard of him. If anything, he should ask me permission to use my name since I'm way more famous. I'll chat with my lawyer about it. Thanks for the heads up. Why are you here? You're obviously not a pro wrestling fan. No. Gross. There's a ceremony after your stupid show to rename the gym in my honor. The town sign wasn't enough? It wasn't. I actually wanted it bigger. Couldn't you have picked any other night to do this? Do you think I chose to share my special night with a professional wrestling event? That'd be like eating a giant bowl of turd soup before having the best steak of your life. I have a loaded schedule and tonight was my only avail. And how much longer would it have taken to say availability? I told you, I'm busy. Every second counts. I've already wasted way too much time talking to you carnies. I'll have you know, we've wrestled at several carnivals and their employees are some of the finest people around. Other than that tilt-a-whirl operator who bit me when I asked him what time it was. There's always exceptions. Cool story. Looking forward to seeing you tap again tonight, Red. You know, just like old times. Whoa, 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 whoa. You could kill someone with that. I know, that's the point. Don't let her get under your skin and ruin our night. We'll do our thing, and then she can do her stupid gym dedication. It'll be totally separate. I'm sure we won't even notice her. Here's a scoop for you. I'm currently in negotiations with Cole Quinn to sign a long-term exclusive deal with BCW. In fact, I bet he'll sign on the dotted line right after this match. BCW is on its way back. I may have had to sell my parents' cemetery plots to help fund the relaunch, but I know this is going to work this time. You have my word, Mom and Dad. I got a call from Buzz the other day, and he is doing great. You hear that, Trey? I have big time connections in WWE. That's what you're missing out on. Special shout out to all of Red and Trey's friends and family in attendance tonight. And sorry about not being able to let you in for free, but hey, I'm running a business here.
I want to thank the high school for letting me run this show tonight without a down payment. <laughs> I promise I'm good for it. Make sure you hit up the merch stand at Intermission, where I'll be selling actual pieces of the mask I wore last year when I attacked Buzz. Don't miss out on your chance to own a piece of wrestling history. Congrats again on your big homecoming show, Red and Trey. I'm sure nothing will ruin your big night. Just a reminder to stick around after the show for a special ceremony where the gym will be renamed for up-and-coming MMA star, the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun. I wonder if she'd be interested in signing with BCW. two might need to settle their differences in the most intimidating and unique structure in wrestling, the Scrap Trap. Sure, it's been banned by every state athletic commission, but not in international waters. There's no need to go join your friend Buzz in WWE. Why be the small fish in a big pond when you can be the shark in a kiddie pool? Okay, maybe that's not the best metaphor, since I don't think a shark would survive very long in a kiddie pool, but you get my point. It's me, the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun, taking over on commentary for this match. Commence the flopping of uncoordinated bodies.
Everyone closes their eyes and just listens to the sweet sound of my voice. I promise the misery will soon be over. unless you want your soul crushed from watching this manure. You could say I know hothead red like the back of my hand, as in red's had the back of my hand upside her head a whole bunch of times. Make sure you stick around for the gym renaming ceremony later tonight. It will help cleanse your palate of whatever this is. What's her opponent's name? Josie? Josie! 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 embarrassing thing to take place in this gym since Trey's match. <laughs> the joint, but this one literally stinks. Maybe mix in a shower every now and then, Red. on your phones. Also, I get a share of the ad revenue, so click away. in your mouth then come over here and do it to my face excuse me for trying to entertain these people because you certainly weren't red acts so tough but the moment you get her in a submission hold she gives up immediately in fact she's been tapped more than shoulders <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Yes! It's finally over. And best of all, Red lost just like I knew she would. Now we can move on to the real reason everyone's here. The renaming of the gym in my honor. Being in this gym brings back so many memories. I won my first amateur match here. I broke barriers and records here as the captain of the otherwise all-male wrestling team. I qualified for states here. I dominated gym class dodgeball here. I won prom and homecoming queen here. I once saved Mr. Durkis from choking on a hot dog here. The banner actually isn't that bad. I was expecting something more obnoxious. I know, me too. So that's why it's my pleasure to officially christen this the Brooklyn Von Braun Gymnasium for Athletic Excellence. Isn't it amazing? I want to thank the school board for cutting the music program to help fund this. Totally worth it. I'm confused. Did she go to space before or after she was Pope? I think I'm going to throw up. Aim towards the mural if you can. <laughs> I can't believe we got totally upstaged and embarrassed by Brooklyn. Not much has changed. I know! We've come a long way, but it still feels like we're the same losers who used to sit at this table back in high school. At least my parents didn't show up and make a scene. Hey, I was thinking, maybe I should try to track down my real parents. They sent that letter back in high school, so maybe there's still hope with them. I, I've actually been meaning to talk to you about that letter. What about it? Sorry. Um, anyway. Uh, it's an Orlando number. Take it. Hello? Hi, Sarah. Yeah, it's a good time to talk. It's Sarah Amato from NXT. Oh. I got your number from Xbox. He saw you on a show in LA a couple years ago and said you were great. Oh, yeah, that was the same night he put my friend in a diaper. <laughs> what? Never mind, had to be there. Anyways, the reason I'm calling is to see if you'd like to compete in the third annual May Young Classic. What? Oh my God! Hello, are you there? Hello. Um, I'm here, and I'm in for the May Young Classic. Yeah. <laughs> Great. We'll be in touch soon with travel arrangements. And congratulations, being included in this tournament is a huge accomplishment. Thank you. <laughs> we'll talk soon. Bye. Bye. Oh! Are you serious? Maybe this night wasn't so bad after I all. I know! After I missed out on the first Mayon Classic and then didn't hear anything last year, I thought I'd never get another shot, but it's happening! <laughs> and I'm not going to settle for just being included. I'm gonna win the whole damn thing. Oh, I know you will. <laughs> we should celebrate. By throwing rocks at Brooklyn's stupid face! That might be a bit extreme. I mean, what size rocks are we talking? I meant her face on the sign coming into town. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that seems slightly more reasonable. Hey, hey, what did you want to tell me about the letter? Oh. Um. Never mind. It's not important. Besides, there's a sign that needs vandalizing, remember? True. I'll go round up some good throwing rocks. That's a great idea. I'll meet you at the car in a minute. Cool. Whoa, that's a shock. 
He's always wanted to meet his birth parents, and now that we know what happened, what are we gonna say when he asks about them? I, I really don't think he can handle the, the truth, that they're dead. Do you? No. No, it would crush him. But what's the alternative, honey? Just let him believe they're still out there somewhere and they don't care enough to ever contact him? I, I, I don't know. I, I wish there was a way to keep his hope alive, but not hurt him. <sighs> Me too. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is, we did. But we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. And that life is one where you can have the freedom to follow your dreams, no matter what they might be. To become anything you want. We'll find you someday. Love always, Mom and Dad. Please, don't tell him our secret about the letter. It's not going to help anything. Hey, you coming or what? Yeah, sorry. Let's do this!